So in the series of learning Python programming language, previous video was a coding exercise. We have designed a log calculator in which we have used if nested if else elif statements because these control statements we have discussed, right? What is simple if nested if if else nested if else elif and all we have discussed, right? So now in this video, we'll be talking about a new concept in Python that is Python list, right? What is list? Why we use list? Some features, characteristics of list and as well as some functions or you can say methods of list that can be applied on list. How to create a list and all we will be discussing in this video with the help of program practical I will show you. Right? See first thing uh, let me just ask one question. If I want to store like one uh, integer like suppose I want to store 10. So simply what we do just create a variable like a and is equal to 10. So this 10 would be stored here. Some a is a variable name, right? Simple if one name, Jenny, I want to store. One, another uh, variable I can take like name. Name is equal to Jenny. Simple. This is string, this is of integer, right? Same boolean type we can store, same float type we can store like I am going to store b is equal to 10.10. So this is float. But the problem is if I want to store, suppose I in my class I have a, a, a 15 students. So I want to store roll number of 15 students. So one method is what? The method is still now we have discussed is what? We can create 10 variables a, b, c, d and in individual we can store 1, 1, 1 roll number. Right? But that is I guess not a good idea. Right? If suppose I want to store in my class I have 60 students. So I want to store roll numbers of 60 students and names of 60 students. Then you have to create 60 variables. Right, because in one variable we can store only one one value, right? But I guess that is not a good idea to create sixty variables to store sixty roll number of sixty students. That would be very time consuming. Length, you know, code would be very lengthy and error prone code would be there. That was not readable. Many problems would be there. So, is there any way under a single variable name we can store roll number of ten student or sixty students or hundred students? under a single variable name. Yes, we can do with the help of list, right? There are other ways also in Python, tuple, set, dictionary. Those also we'll be discussing one by one in later video, but here we'll be discussing list, right? So what we can do, I can create some simpler variable. Suppose I'm taking row number, right? And there I can store these square brackets, opening brackets, row numbers of 5, 10 or 50 or 60 students as many students as you want like I am taking only 5 students 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and closing square bracket that is it. So this is what a list right under a single variable name we have stored these roll number of 5 students. So basically list is what it is a data structure it is just a way of storing and organizing the data it comes under sequence data type because it contains sequence of you know uh, types of data and see if once uh, list I am creating for names names is equal to like this so this is these are strings these are integers right but we can have mixed type of list suppose uh, in one list I am taking one integer and one is string one is true or false these are boolean data type 10.10 this is float so uh, suppose this I am taking mix underscore list so this is also allowed collection of different different data types also allowed same data type also allowed like uh, if you have read the array concept in C then array is what collection of similar data type homogeneous right so if this integer integer data you want to store then in one array you can store only integer types of data only it's not like that this you this is allowed no but in list it is allowed a mixed list is also possible integer string boolean float this is valid list this is also valid this is also valid so this is i think very powerful tool of python language the list and still there are many functions and many you know interesting things we can do with this those also will be discussing so basically list is what you can say it's a container or it's you can say collection of things enclosed in square brackets and separated by comma that is a list it is you can say it's a dynamically sized array not 
fixed size array, dynamically sized array we can say. It's just a container or you can say collection of things. And list is what a sequence array type because it just, this is just a sequence of data. It is used to store sequence of various data types and it is not homogeneous, need not to be homogeneous, right? A single list can contain many data types like integer, string, boolean, float and as well as objects, right? Now some characteristics are uh, of list you can say like, but these are ordered, list are ordered. These items are having a defined order and these orders, th this order of these items will not change, right? One more characteristic is what? These are mutable. Two words are there, mutable, immutable. Simply, mutable means in simple words I am taking can change. Immutable means cannot change. List are mutable. Mutable means after creating the list, we can alter the list, we can change the list, we can add some element, we can remove some element, we can, you know, uh, change the, here suppose here I have Ram, we can change this name, I can do this Mohan. So this alteration is possible after creating the list. So lists are mutable, but lists are ordered as well as we can access, how you can print the list now. If I, I want to print this roll number, so simply print and name of the list. So it will print this thing. Output would be something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in these square brackets, right? But if you want to access individual elements, suppose I want to access this 3, that is also possible using index, right? Now index is what? Index of this is, index would be started from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Why this is from 0? It is not, you can say, position. It is, you can say, offset from the starting position. So, so from the starting position, this is starting position. You can say the shifting or offset of the variable. So, offset of this variable from starting is what? Nothing. It's 0 or shifting is 0. So, that is why index is 0. Shifting of this is from starting position is 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. That is why index generally starts in programming from 0. So, for programmers counting starts from 0 actually, right? So, using index we can access like uh, if I write print row number and in these brackets just put the index. Suppose I am putting 1. So, at 1 at this index what is 2? So, it will print 2. So, you can access individual elements also. Right, And many operation we can perform on list, like we can sort the list, we can reverse the list, we can append more data, we can extend the list, right. We can count the you know, occurrence of these items in the list, we can find out index of individual item in the list, you can find out length of the list, minimum or maximum from the list, many methods are there. So those methods will be discussing with the help of a program, I will show you practically, right. But you don't have to remember all the methods. Just take a look like because everything is available on this documentation uh, on the Google when you see the Python documentation. Many methods are available. So you don't have to you don't have to memorize all the methods, right? Just take a look how to, yes, we can do this thing with list, we can do this thing with list, right? So that you have in your mind, yes, you can do, you can sort the list. There is a method. You don't have to write that thing, right? You just Google uh, that method how to you know use that method and that's it and yes one more thing in list list can have duplicates value like 5 and comma one more item i want to add 2 comma 1 so these are duplicates so this is allowed in set actually actually duplicates are not allowed right but in list duplicates are allowed right so these are some character the characteristics also uh, of list so let's see some functions of list so let's create a new file python list dot py right and we will be taking uh, first of all a list suppose numbers so suppose i have like only four elements 10 0 minus 1 7 and if you want to print this you can simply print that's it so let me just run this and it will print see this thing with brackets right rather than this if I want to store some names, that is also fine. You can store. 
like this if you want to store names that is also fine this is also fine if you want to print simply print and names so it will print this list also right as you can see mix list is also possible like uh, if i take a mix underscore list a name and uh, integer then i'm going to store like jenny then i want to store like uh, true boolean data type and 10.10 something like this and if i print this mix list then it will print okay rather than this uh, we have an error like this p-r-i-n-g it's print not p-r-i-n-g p-r-i-n-t right let's run this so see it is printing this so mix is also possible but now let's comment out these list and if you want to access individual using index individual uh, you know these items in the list then you can access like number one so now it will print what zero because at one index zero is there rather than one if you will if you will write six obviously six is not in this list the index six sixth right so it will give error like list index out of range so you can up to 0 1 2 3 up to 3 index you can put if you put 3 then it will print 7 right if you want to uh, print the one function is like length then you can simply use one function length and in bracket you can simply put the name of the list numbers so see length would be 4 1 2 3 4 right so this is what length but if you want to access like uh, this is something co called as slicing but neg negative indexing is also possible see let me tell you print numbers if i write minus one minus one negative index start from backward so minus one index is for this element seven so it will print seven see if i write minus two then it will print minus one so minus one minus two minus three minus four something like this so backward negative indexing is also available in, in list. Now what is list slicing? See, if I write something like this, starting index is zero, colon, what is length of the list? Four. So if I write zero colon four, it will print simple the complete list. If I do not write this four, just blank, zero, nothing else. So by default, it will take four here. It will print the list. If I do not write a zero, simply the colon. So by default, starting is starting point is starting index, ending point is length. By default, these numbers are there. So still it will print the list. But if I do string slicing, if I write index should be started from one and one to suppose three. So one is the index, so zero and three is what? Till third length. So 1, 2, 3, mean till minus 1. So it will print 0 and minus 1 only. See, 0 and minus 1, right? If list is something like this, 7, 8, 10, comma, suppose uh, minus 67. And now if I print 1, 2, 4. So see, now what it will print? Index 1. 0 from 0 right because at 1th index 0 is there 0 to this 4 is not index because index of 0 1 2 3 4 index of 8 is 4 so means you think that it will print till 8 no this 4 is what length till 4 length this is length so length would be started from 1 1 2 3 4 so till 7 we have the 4 length, 4th length of the string means length, length 4 of the string. So it will print till 7 only. So 0 minus 1, 7, right? So you can say whatever you will provide here, 4, that minus 1 index it will print, right? So means till 3rd index it will print, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3rd index, 7 is having index 3, right? So this is what string slicing. If I do not write anything here, so from starting from 0, it will print by default last argument is what? 
complete length of the string right and if I do not put somewhere here and if I write fifth till fifth length it will print so from starting it will print till eight till fifth length and by default it is zero right but one more is what if you want to print the sub list or you can say this is what extended slicing like uh, uh, from zero to length five one more colon and third argument is the steps suppose I am writing here one right so one step it will skip and it will print the next like one step is nothing it will skip so okay let me show you first of all from 0 to 5th length so 10 0 minus 1 7 8 okay but rather than 1 if I write 2 here then it will jump 2 step see at starting from 0th index so 10 then steps are 2 so like from 10 10 to 0 1 then 2 so 0 it will skip and it will print next element minus 1 then 1 then 2 then after second step it is 8 so 8 it will print till fifth index it should print right so this is what extended slicing if I write here 3 then what it will print 10 okay sorry see it will print only 10 and 7 because it would be started from 10 from 0th index 10 then it will skip 2 because third step so 10, 1 2 3 at third step we have 7 so 7 it will print 1 2 3 minus 67 but till fifth length we have to print if you do not write 5 here then by default it will print minus 67 also because till the end it will print right so I hope you got now some functions like if you want to sort the list so we can simply write what like numbers the list name dot a function we have sort and then we can simply print the list numbers right let's see what happens that would be in sorted order right duplicates are allowed 10 10 we have I have told you duplicates are allowed in list right but if you think directly here I can print like in one line only rather than, than writing it in two line numbers print so it will print nothing none it will give see none because this function will return nothing no return type right so we cannot do this thing you have to sort first right and then you have to print the list because it will change this original list only right now one function is reverse so rather than sort we can do reverse right and if I print then it would be reverse of the list minus 67 10 8 7 minus 1 0 10 so this reverse will do reverse of the list as the name suggests. a length we can find out maximum minimum just you can write down min and max so this min function will simply print the minimum from the list if I write like max then max will return simply the max max is 10 but one thing we cannot apply this sort on the mix list this will give error if I do something like this If I apply the sort on this mix list, having the list is having mixed data type and if I run this then see this less than not supported between instance of string and int because this is int, this is string, this is boolean. So we cannot compare different different data types. So sorting on mixed list, uh, mix list is not allowed, right. Now if you want to add something in the list, so there are three methods basically. So one is you can append, we, you can use append, append means at the end of the list we can add one element at a time, one element at a time at the end of the list if you want to add, then you can use append. So how you can use that thing just uh, this the, the list, name of the list, numbers, then dot, then append and 
the value what you want to add 45 and after that I am printing this numbers. So let's run this. See now 45 is at the end of the list right. One more append you can 46, 47 like this. These would be added at the end of the list but at one element at a time. So generally what we do we create a sing, uh, you know uh, empty list like numbers just the brackets nothing and then we append the numbers right in the list that also we can do. So next is you can insert but at specific position I want to insert a data not at the end specific index like at second index third index then we can use insert function. So here what we can do like numbers rather than append we can do insert but in append we pass only one argument the value you want to add but here you will pass two argument first argument is at which index you want to add suppose at uh, second index I want to add right comma what you want to add 45 I want to add at second means 0 1 2 means here at second index 45 would be added and the, this would be shifted to right side all the data let me just run this and that you then you will get it better see 10 0 then 45 right at second index then minus 1 7 8 it is not like that we will replace this minus 1 because that second index minus 1 is there maybe you will think it would be replaced with 45 no it will add 45 minus 1 would be still in the list and would be right shifted. So this is how at particular position you can insert one is if I want to add more than one data at one at same time right then using append we can only add one data using insert also we can at one time we can add only one data yes you can use insert 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 two to three times if you want to add two to three items but at the same time you want to add three items then one function is extend so that you can do extend and in bracket now we can pass list like I want to add 45 46 47 78 89 this list I want to add and simply we just print numbers now see this list now extended at the end after minus 67 45 46 47 40, 78 89 this list would be added more than one item but at the end of the list extend also add at the end of the list more than one item append will add at the end of end of the list at only one item at a single time at one time right so this is what extended list now right one more thing what we can do like uh, if you want to change like at first index I have 0 but I want to change this 0 so what we can do like numbers the name of the list then at which index you want to change the data first index what you want to insert now rather than 0 I want to insert suppose 45 here and now I will print numbers so this at the place of 0 now I have 45 in the list right so this is how you can change the list so that is why I have told you list are mutable we can alter the list after creation of the list we can add change the data and remove and remove the data now I want to remove something okay now uh, one more thing if I want if I do something like this index 1 2 4 1 2 4 means 1 2 3 3 element I want to add so if I do something like this 45 46 47 now what will happen see these three elements from the index is 1 and this 4 is what not index this is length till fourth length means till index this length minus 1 till third index so it is first index second index third index 45 46 47 rather than 0 minus 1 and 7 and all the other elements would, would be same right so you can modify more than one item also you just have to provide the range where you want to modify right now if you want to remove something then we have two methods remove as well as pop remove will search the item and just remove it will not return anything so like 
sorry first the name of the list numbers dot remove and in bracket we will pass the value the item you want to remove right so suppose i want to remove zero from this this list so let's run this see zero is not there now see maybe you are thinking we have modified this list here like extend and all but i have just commented out these line so original list is now this right and on this all only i am performing this remove remove operation so it will not return anything it will, it will just search the item and remove but it will remove the first occurrence occurrence of that letter suppose here i have one more zero two zero are there and now i am removing zero let's run this but still in the list we have zero but first occurrence it will search from starting it will find zero here it will remove zero and it will print the list it will not remove this zero remove will remove only first occurrence of that letter right now pop number dot pop yeah it will return what pop means it will chop off the uh, remove the last element by default the last element of the list so if now i print numbers then see now then there is the last zero has been removed so pop will remove the last zero and if it will remove that it will remove as well as it will return that element so if i want to print what this pop has removed from the list so it will print that element also it will return that element see zero zero has been removed and after that we have printed the list right but if you want to remove specific element then you just pass the index in this pop suppose i i want to remove um, not the last zero this zero so index of this zero is 1 now let me just run this see now it has removed zero but but from first index last zero is as it is right so just pass the index if i pass 5 so it will delete this 5 this l this 10 at the fifth index this 10 is there so it will remove this and it will print the list so this is how pop will work and there are many methods see as you can see here this this uh, doc, uh, the python documentation of python here there are many methods like append extend insert remove pop clear index count sort reverse copy and how to use these method with one example they have given so you don't, don't do not have to memorize these methods you can just search but you just have to go through these methods yeah we can can you reverse a string then you have in your mind yes you should know you can reverse the string and then how to reverse that you can simply search so you just try out these methods this count will return the number of times that item appears in the list so this you have to try out index if you find out the index of a particular item in the list then also you can find out right clear will remove all the element from the list see if you want to count like numbers dot count how many times zero is there in the list so you can just run this and zero is two times right so count will just return the number of times the item is present in the list so i hope you got what are list why list have been introduced what are the advantages benefits of list what are some methods of list at all you have got everything right so in the next video we'll be seeing what is random module and then we'll see you on coding exercise so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care